Good morning, YouTube. It's been a while since I've made any silver videos because I haven't bought a whole lot of silver lately. I've gotten some, but I've pretty much stopped buying generic silver altogether, and all I focus on now is Englehard. So I've sold uh, quite a bit of my generic silver 10 ounces and things of that nature. Uh, and right now I just... I've just been collecting Inglehorn silver. And I've got a real treat for y'all today. Something not many people have seen in my over 10 years of being in and out of silver and being uh, fairly infatuated with Inglehorn and vintage silver. This is the first one I've ever held in my hand and I'm lucky to now own it. Uh, it is a four ounce Inglehorn. As you know, the smaller ingots, like Inglehard made, they made a whole bunch of one ounce rounds and bars, prospectors, things of that nature. I don't really collect those. I only collect uh, poured bars for the most case. And, uh, you know, I don't really keep 100 ounce Inglehards. They're pretty common. And the ones I don't I don't collect either. Um, and so Inglehard made a two ounce poured bar little ingot, but there was only if I remember correctly there was only about fifty of those in existence, uh, and probably far less than that actually in existence. And for the three ounce bars, which are very rare as well, they're they're hard to come across and they're pretty expensive. Uh, but total mintage on three ounce bars, if you count all the series together, was about 5,000 total. Um, most of these series, uh, they fluctuate between 500 and 1,500 is all that was minted of each one. And then there's some, uh, some more rare bars, you know, MFRs and serial numbers not present. But there was about 5,000 minted total. Now on these four ounce Inglehards, it's only about a thousand. That's across all five or six series uh, that they made. I think there was uh, maybe only five series, not counting the mid uh, Canadian version, but I think it's about thousand total, maybe slightly more than that, a thousand and fifty. And so these are very, very hard to come by. And because of that, they're fairly expensive. Most of these three ounce bars you can get for about a thousand bucks a piece, 900, thousand bucks, depending on, this is actually a tier one bar. Only 500 of this series was made. And this is a tier two bar. So this is a little more common. You can get this for about 900 bucks. And I think these are around 1100, uh, maybe 12. And I've actually got uh, some consecutive threes as well, uh, kind of prizes of the collection. And I've always wanted a four, but they, they've always been out of reach. These bars, I mean, you're lucky, lucky if you could find one for about 1500 bucks, more along the lines of two grand or so for one of these. And I actually got lucky and I got this one and an MFR five ounce bar together for $2,000 shipped. And that was a fantastic price for me. I was very happy with that. And so if you look at them, the way that they're made, they're similar in size, the mold, but they just made that four way more chunky than the three. It looks very good. And so this is a tier one bar. There was about 300 of these or less minted. And it is a fairly, fairly hard bar to come by. Of the fours, 
this series, this fifth series, has the highest mintage with 300. The other one, there's a fourth series bar that has about 200 mintage. Uh, and then there's a second series bar that has about 250. The first series had about 100. And then there's a few other ones in there that are fairly rare with a, about a 25 mintage or so. Uh, but this particular series here, this fifth series uh, with 300, is, is probably the highest minted series of the four ounces. But in all honesty, of the 300 that was minted, there's probably less than... 50 of these in existence. And that's a guesstimation based on uh, all Engelhard and, and how they talk about how Engelhards were, you know, melted at a, at a pretty dramatic rate during the 80s and 90s. But yeah, a four ounce Engelhard. Six three four nine three. Very happy to own this bar. Thanks for watching.